Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly tarot scope. I'm Katie, I'm a professional intuitive tarot card reader. If you have any personal questions that you need answered, then you can visit my website katietarot.com and you can book your personal reading with me there. I am also doing forecasts for 2018 uh, at the moment, so you can also book them there as well. So Cancer, let's have a look at what's going on this week. This reading is for the 18th through to the 24th of December 2017. It is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. And it is a general reading, so please take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. Cancer, Cancer, okay. We have some swift energy coming in here for you guys. The Sun of Swords. So this is the Knight of Swords. Very swift, quick energy. Someone is going to come in and be this kind of energy for you or it's going to be yourself. If you embody this energy this week, then you're going to be straight to the point. You might not be concerned about how other people's how other people think or feel about what you say. Uh, you can be more, definitely more cerebral and in your, in your head, in your mind, than connected to your heart. So if it's not in your intention to go and um, be this way, then just be aware that another person might be coming in and uh, they might uh, act this way towards you. They might have this attitude towards you or a circumstance in your life that you are connected to. Uh, now, this isn't necessarily a negative energy that I'm feeling. It's just an energy of directness and of being, uh, being able to cut through any kind of uh, things on the sidelines, you know, and just get to the point. So that's the type of energy that I'm, that I'm feeling here for you. So this is quite uh, good. We have the magician in terms of uh, this communication getting to the point. Well, you know... I feel that this is about creating the life that you want, Cancer. So this is a very good thing. If you're embodying this energy, beautiful because with the magician here, you're going you have things that you want. You have needs that you that you need fulfilled. And looking forward, which you are, you're looking forward now to the future, the next couple of weeks to early next year. There is a definitely an energy here of wanting to create and manifest what you want in your life and you're going to take the necessary uh, mindset uh, into this activity to pursue this and to get what you want out of it so a very creative a very uh, very intense manifesting energy here of you wanting something you have a goal you have a purpose and you're looking to the future and you're going to go after that. And this clear communication with uh, another person or with people around you is just a part of that. So this is good. We have the Father of Pentacles, which is the King of Pentacles. There is a need for money here or a need for some kind of security. And that's what you're aiming for. That's what you want. And if you do already have a considerable, some of you do already have a considerable uh, foundation to build upon or to enjoy. And so that will be a part of um, what is going on this week for you. You'll be enjoying that abundance. You'll be in, enjoying yourself on that level. For others, it will be um, looking forward to the future and knowing that you want more of this. You want more income or uh, more stability in a financial way or more uh, family healthier family dynamics whatever it may be in in uh, in a family situation for you it could be a romantic relationship you want to improve okay these things that you definitely want to manifest going forward so this is very positive and very good and, and uh, either or whichever scenario you fit into here I do feel you will enjoy yourself this week there is a sense here of being able to uh, be yourself but be direct as well we have the ace of wands wonderful new passionate beginnings okay the possibility here for you guys to go from where you are right now 
to somewhere completely different over the next several months is really great. Okay, it's very high probability. And you're actively looking at ways to do this, whether it's actively looking for different uh, avenues of income or work opportunities or love romantic relationships, whatever it is. You're looking forward and the possibility is almost endless for you guys. I can, you know, and it's going way into the future. So you really are looking forward to what you're going to bring towards yourself. We have the nine of pentacles, independence, and you're not tied to anyone, you know, in terms of being concerned or being tied down in any kind of restrictive way. That's not the position that you're in. That's not where you want to be. You want to be free. You want to be independent. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are a single person. You could be in a relationship, but it's finding that purpose within yourself and finding that um, and finding that connection to where you want to go from here in an independent way. Um, that's what I'm really seeing here. You have a, you have very strong independent streak coming in here. And that's uh, what's going to drive you forward. It's like you've had enough of what's been going on over the past couple of months, weeks, however long it is. And you really are ready to take a step out and do your own thing for yourself rather than give to so many other people or to another person in particular, whoever it may be in your life. You must have giving so much energy. You're going to take that back. Yeah, we've got the ten. Sorry, we've got the uh, the five. The five of swords. See, I see this as a cutting as well. Yeah. You're cutting away and you're having that victory uh, w through communication. But I can see this week with a person or a situation that you're, that you're in. It's like you're breaking away those ties that no longer serve you. Okay, you're breaking that away. You don't need it. You don't want it. You're going to have a victory. Father of Cups, which is the King of Cups. And you're not doing this. You're not breaking away with any animosity. You know, you're not breaking away or you're not, um, you're not confrontational with people. Not at all. You're just speaking your truth. And so you're coming from a place of an open heart and wanting to care about another person or people or, or about a situation. It's because you care so much that you need to pull back the energy for yourself. You need to pull away from the negativity that surrounds you, whatever this is in your life. And you will be. You'll be thinking about doing that and actively doing that. And this is going to serve you well in the long run. Son of Cups, you have an idea about where you're going and what you want and you are going to go for it. I can see this very clearly. With the Ace of Wands here and the, the Son of Cups here, you know what you want, you're going for it. The lovers. And this is more towards the end of the week. So there's this connection with another person that is um, very close to you on an emotional level. Uh, whoever this may be. doesn't have to be a romantic partner. could be a friend. Um, and this is going to be a lovely, I, f I feel a lovely time that you'll have together. We've got the Ten of Cups. There's that emotional, lovely time that I was talking about. Emotionally fulfilled, happy. Um, it's like you won't have a care in the world. You know, I've, I do feel you will, will have your mind in order and very focused about what you want moving forward. And Cancer, that's why by the end of the week you would have dealt with this and, and in your own mind know where you're headed, what you want to do. And then you can relax and you can enjoy yourself. Yeah, beautiful, the Daughter of Cups. You've, you've got this innocent, uh, innocence about you, this new possibility moving forward and also having a good time. So you might be in a situation socially where uh, you haven't been before meeting new people, uh, that kind of uh, energy, that naive, innocent energy, meaning that you're in a situation that uh, you haven't been in before. 
could be a possibility of a new romance as well okay I also see that with the Sun of Cups as well coming in there there's a possibility for you lovely time you're going to have if you're not actually with anybody else then that's okay um, whatever you're doing solo whatever you, whatever you are going to be doing by the end of the week you'll be quite happy and we've got the nine of swords okay and I feel this is related to this romance or to a person that you are emotionally connected to I feel there's one particular person which could potentially cause you some anxiety and stress so just be aware of this energy you know, towards near more towards the end of the week so that's the reading for the week guys if you like the content please subscribe to my channel until next time bye for now